he's like Tom Cruise. I mean, pure and simple, like Tom Cruise. The, and he, I hate to say this, I think Mr. Holloway is much shorter than what he looks like in real life because he had his shoes were like that thick. Otherwise, not his lifts. Yeah. Oh, actually, it's women would call them heels. They, yeah, they're heels. They build the height. So, but um, the I, I'm looking at. Okay, here's Jeremy Reiner, which is a, basically he was a child actor. I think he was in a Hurt Locker. He also plays Hawkeye in the Avengers. Yeah. So he's got himself a second, uh, a, a second career play. He's a, basically he can he can match Tom Cruise action bit for action bit. And so where the hell has this guy been for the last decade? Well, you know, I have one thing to say is it's about time one of these came out again. And it reminded me when I saw this of how much fun I enjoyed watching the other ones. Yeah. Because it is. It, it's, it is. It's an adrenaline rush, fun movie. And then when I realized that these, they actually did these stunts, yeah. it really made me more appreciative because some of the... Well, Tom Cruise enjoys different. doing his own stunt. The fact is, the fact that he... They said that the side of the building stuff was like Harold Lloyd's mm -hmm. movie when Harold Lloyd was on the outside of the building. You, but I can tell you that Tom Cruise's body is actually showing the results of this. Is, he's been doing this character for 16 years. They've only made four movies, but he's been doing it for 16 years. 1950, 19, uh, 1995 was when really? they made the first of these. Really? When was the last one? Uh, four years ago. So they, made or released? It was uh, re it was made and released four yeah. years ago. Well, yeah, because he's been kind of on a break. But it, it's just like it reminded me of what you know. This is one of those things. It's like it now you're reminded of why you like the Mission Impossible series and why you really like Tom Cruise in these action movies. Yeah. He's just really good. Because it opened worldwide. He's yeah. it made it eighty eight million dollars worldwide. It's opening time period. Did it? Which means Cruise was known for the record of consecutive hundred million dollar movies that got broke after uh, the War of the Worlds. They said this one's a lock that he's going to get oh. back in again. Yeah. And so, and this movie also it cost 140 million to make using their standards. It's going to run about and let's see 420 million to break even, which means it will break even. Yeah. Because it's got IMAX alone. It's a killer in IMAX. I know. Uh, I don't want to have IMAX at my home. <laughs> so oh, good. I know, but, uh, <laughs> That's why you go to the theater. Here's the bad part about it. We've right. seen it in IMAX. I know. How much And I have it? no desire to go see it in, in the regular theater. Actually, one of the things I wish they had done is I wish it was an IMAX 3D because this would be the perfect uh, movie for 3D. But I had, I, I, you know, generally I don't read reviews on things, but I wanted to see the technical stuff. And I had a person, I, had, I saw a stuntman talking about the technical stuff. And he said, you know, the stuntman said, you know, that looks like a god-awful strange IMAX camera. And then the guy said, well, probably because it can do more than this shoot IMAX straight. Ah. And that's all they said. So, you know, he said, then, then one of the people said, uh, could we possibly have a 3D version out there? Remember, 3D is back-ended, folks. You shoot with the big camera, you shoot with the IMAX to begin with. Almost all IMAX today is in 3D. Yeah, well, a lot of them are, yeah. yeah. And so it's a very simple thing to come out, say, next year or in two years in between the next two uh, versions, well, we, next version, and there will be a fifth that's a gimme. Yeah. You have Which to have I'm a really fifth to understand to what happened. Okay, it's like um, uh, Harry Potter, the last one. You had to, if you didn't see the first one, you didn't understand the second one. Well, this one's totally set up for the next version. Yeah, it's totally possible. set up with the uh, actors and it already they accepted their last mission they've already accepted a mission oh, at the end of the movie right. so you don't know what the mission is so theoretically when they do the next one it's got to you know he's got to give each one of them a, a cell phone for the next mission you know what i'm just curious because i i didn't read any of this thing beforehand did they film two of them and they're released at the same time i have no idea how they did it i, I think what happened with tom cruise's career was in such a bad spot that they only did one that they had no faith in his ability to draw an audience again this is why tom cruise threw the kitchen sink at this movie well I you're, mean, you're gonna i mean after that you're gonna see him again okay, in these here movies. is yeah. the, here is what one of the reviewers that loves action pictures said this isn't the best action picture of the year. It is the best action period of the decade. Wow. Yeah, because it is not con computer-generated effects. No. It is all people. It is all stuntmen. And it is, um, okay, I, I, here's um, a description of Burt of Lancaster 
in Burt Lancaster did all his own stunt work in the movie The Train. And they said, John Frankenheimer, one of the people at Egg John Frankenheimer, said, I got a lecture, a stunt work from Burt. Said it was all Burt, only Burt, and he's the only one that could do the stunts like See, that. See, here's part of it is, this one, it was kind of reminds me of like Pirates. It's like, we saw Pirates in IMAX and, 3D. And we saw it in 2D. And we saw it in 2D. This one, I mean, there's a lot of movies we'd like to see during this holiday season, but this one is almost worth going to go see a matinee to see it in the 2D version of yeah. comparing and we did get I a, mean, we, Our matinee prices weren't that far off of a regular evening price in the 2D theater, which is why we did it. And we're going to guarantee you, there was people in the, in the IMAX, and the, in the, we, what were there? We were there at... Uh, oh, actually, that was one of the most surprising things, because we went... Um, I, I was busy, so we didn't catch it the night before the release, right? We have yeah. a, six, a 9 o'clock and a midnight showing, yeah. right? Because I was busy at holiday parties. But instead, we caught it the first showing, which was at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And I was really surprised to see that huge line. Well, there were so many people <laughs> in line. They were going in to, inside the huge... Buy your the, ticket. ...the KO, KO should just sit there and buy tickets. And they, they were full of people. Mm -hmm. I mean... The theater actually, when we got ours, uh, we managed to get really good seats. But what happened was a lot of people were single people. There were single tickets, so we managed to get two together. And we got prime seats. But the place, you know, just look at all the full seats I, on the deal. I'll tell you, that is, I've never, we've been to midnight showings that haven't been that full. Yeah. I've never been to an early, like, when I say early, usually it's like 10 a.m., um, noon, oh, 2 okay. o'clock. I've never been at, you know, actually, any time before 6 o'clock when you get matinee prices, I've never been to a uh, matinee that was so full. Uh, it had uh, such a huge line. But, I mean, because we're paying for tickets. We try to cut corners on them, so, but 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I'm talking 10 o'clock in places 10 a.m. in the morning on a Friday? This is, you know, work. And there were people day, sitting in the god-awful bad seats, which the closer you get to the... Really, the closer you get to the orchestra pit, the worse. I mean, you're mm -hmm. you're like this. Mm -hmm. It's sort of you know, like we were talking to Muppets before. It's like the kids that watched the Muppet when they were young. They thought the Muppets were like this because they were in a television set like that. That's what it looked like watching IMAX up. You cannot really set up. They said, well, they have those rows there, but if you set in those, you get way forward. You're going like this all the time. Yeah. It doesn't really look. But there were people in those rows. Mm -hmm. So, but. Um, so it is, it is a, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to eat up the competition, really eat it up, yeah. because it gives you something that is not out there in the theaters at the moment. There's no action thing out there that people, yeah. this is not an, a, this is not an R-rated movie, folks. I mean, certainly. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. No, this is a, this is more of a family it, film. It's PG-13 for yeah. violence, but there, there's not an excessive, there's not really a lot of sex. I mean, there's a, you know, there's the obligatory girl that basically wears very little, that all of a sudden has underwear on when she's changing out of an outfit that shouldn't have any underwear on because they're trying to keep it PG. PG because they want the family. This is a movie they want the father to bring his. It, it's a wow movie. You bring your kids into the wow movie. Well, you know, you can go see uh, Arthur at Christmas, or we can go over and see MI4. Where Cruz kicks butt. And the little boys are going, kick butt. <laughs> kick butt. And girls go, hey, oh, Tom Cruise, you're really hot looking. Yeah. You know, it, because Tom Cruise is really looking good. I mean, this is Tom Cruise, vintage Tom Cruise. Yeah. Cocky, arrogant, and with a, a, a smile, when he smiles, it basically, when him and Tom Harmon, Mark Harmon have the two most infectious grins in the business. When they smile at people, you know, they make you happy. Yeah. And this is, you know, and like I said, it, it's a movie, for instance, you know, would we pay to see this? Well, we already did, so. But will we watch it on television? Uh -huh. Oh, absolutely. And um, I'm interested in what the DVD is going to be. I know, be. see, I mean, you can already hear, it's like, this was one of those ones where we paid for it in IMAX. We're con contemplating watching it in the regular theater. We'll most likely buy it on the DVD, and yes, we watch it. I mean. Yeah, it basically hits every single category and, you know, uh, we haven't had a lot of those things. We've watched, uh, I guess, since we started reviewing, I don't know, 30, 30, 40 films. Mm -hmm. And I think the only one we've had, like, we've been this happy about also was... Um, I like Pirates the, and Transformers. Pirates and Transformers. The Transformers, we, Transformers, 
is not going to look good on TV, that we knew no, because it's basically designed for 3D. Effects not going to look as good. So basically, but it's still watching. It, it fails still. in one of the categories. But this one, this one is we do own pirate movies. We actually have seen pirate. We have seen the pirates. We got watching the pirate Blu-ray. Watching on Blu-ray 3D. Yeah. So, um, but this one, I'm interested, very interested to see if there will be a 3D version of this when it comes out for a secondary release because it will. It really okay. That that one of the people, one of the reviewers, I did hear say it begs to be in 3D. It really does. It begs to see him coming, flying through a window in 3D it, and then having Jeremy Reiner grab him at the last instant as he starts to fall to a death. Or, or the, the chick fight. The chick fight. Or the fight. cat fight. The cat fight meant to be 3D. The, uh, all the fighting, all the action sequences where they're jumping from one thing to another yeah. thing. Things being tossed in your face. There was an awful lot of stuff being tossed at the camera. Mm -hmm. That all, But see... IMAX is very close to 3D to begin with because mm -hmm. of the lens system, but uh, you know, we, we think you'll enjoy it for this holiday season. The film opens, it'll be open nationally by the time this is out on Actually, wait, it's today, Tuesday? It will be open. Uh, it'll be, it'll be it, opening oh, tomorrow. Oh, wait a minute, it opens tomorrow. That's, it opens on a Wednesday. It opens on a Wednesday. Because Does that it, mean that some of them are going to be opening up tonight at like yeah. 9 o'clock at uh, night? They'll be okay. tonight, later tonight, they'll, they'll, they'll be showing because maybe we'll go see that depending on how hard it goes tonight. But uh, we, we just think you'll have a lot of fun because it's a, yeah. it is really an old-fashioned uh, family movie, folks. There's nothing, I mean, we're talking people get killed, but they get killed in westerns. Yeah. They get killed on the Davy Crockett show, for Christ's sake. It is a good old-fashioned family movie meant to entertain everybody. You know, this movie was not made for TV. This is a motion this, picture. This is a movie that you, remember when you're sitting there going, we can only see so many movies, we only have so much to spend. This is a movie that needs to see, be seen on the big screen. Needs to be seen on the big screen. You can appreciate it on the small screen and enjoy it, but if you really want to... The you bigger really the screen, you mean, the I, we're, the we're not telling you don't go see it in 2D, but in, a, in a regular theater, but you should go see it in IMAX if you possibly can. And you can get IMAX at a comparable rate in a matinee version to the evening rate. So, and like what we did, we decided to skip on popcorn and drinks and then go out to McDonald's later. So, that's where we cut the corner, so. Hey, you want to go see the... <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> <laughs> okay. so we not go see the other ones and we'll go see this one again. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell. I know, it is possible. It's possible before the time is over. We, we did revive, we did do, like I said, we saw Pirates in IMAX. So we saw Pirates in regular 3D and we saw Pirates in 2D. Mm -hmm. We did see Pirates in all three versions. Oh, did we see it in all three? No, we had one of them we had free passes for. Oh, okay. We used the free pass to get into the... That's right, we did see 3D, IMAX 3D. <laughs> and then in 2D. And there is a difference, folks. I mean, there is a god-awful difference between each version. So, and, um, so uh, 3D, ordinary 3D is going to be darker than the 2D version. Yeah. And the IMAX is just god-awful beautiful. Oh, now you see what we're better doing. Better sound, better seats. And everything, but uh, I guess until, until until next time, this is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net, or you can go to www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com. That's our commercial, more commercial site now. Yeah, wherever you are, come follow us and like us. And thank you once again for how many links? Over 250 million links on to MBN. News video web. MBN News Video Web produce product. Yeah, MBN and News Video Web produce content. <laughs> it's like from all of our entities. <laughs> so thank you.